सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म विच इज रिलेटेड टू डिस्टिलेशन एंड दैट इज रिफ्लक्स रेशियो पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग वॉट इज अ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो देन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो एंड हाउ द रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो अफेक्ट्स द सेपरेशन एफिशियंसी सो गाइज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड गाइज बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो let me first give you a overview on distillation process so guys distillation is a separation process that capitalizes on the differences in boiling point of the components within a liquid mixture okay guys in a distillation column the mixture is heated and the vapor is then cooled and condensed back into the liquid this process allows for the separation of component based on their varying boiling point so in simple terms distillation is a process to separate the component which are mixed together based on the differences in their boiling point okay guys so i hope the process of distillation is clear to you and guys in this process of distillation there is a important term which is reflux ratio which plays a key role in the separation process so guys now we will be starting with what is reflux ratio guys the reflux ratio in distillation refers to the ratio between the boil up rate and the take off rate in distillation okay it's like a recycling system in the process in other words the reflux ratio can be defined as the ratio of the amount of reflux that goes back down to the distillation column to the amount of liquid which is collected down into the receiver as distillate to make it more clear imagine that you are boiling a mixture to separate the different components the vapor rises and when it condenses part of it is sent back down to the column as a reflux while the rest of it is collected as a final product okay guys the reflux ratio is the proportion of this recycled liquid to the liquid you are collecting as a final product okay guys adjusting the ratio helps to control the efficiency of separation in the distillation process a higher reflux ratio generally improves separation but might require more energy in contrast with that a lower reflux ratio might save energy but could be less effective in separation components so the reflux ratio is a key factor in finding the right balance for efficient and economical distillation okay guys now we will dive deeper into the reflux ratio by discussing on the definition of reflux ratio so guys the reflux ratio in distillation is the ratio of the liquid returned to the distillation column which is popularly known as reflux to the liquid which is taken off from the distillation unit guys it is a key parameter in the design and operation of the distillation columns it also influences the efficiency of separation in the distillation process okay guys the reflux ratio is mathematically expressed as r is equal to l by d where r is the reflux ratio L is the liquid reflux heated to the distillation column and D is the distillate or the liquid which is taken out as a product from the distillation column. Okay guys this ratio plays a crucial role in optimizing the trade off between separation efficiency and the energy consumption in distillation process. Okay guys now we will be moving towards the important question that how the reflux ratio affects the separation efficiency so guys there are some of the points based on which will be clearing out that how reflux ratio affects the separation efficiency from which the first point is the increased separation with higher reflux ratio guys a higher reflux ratio generally leads to better separation and this is because more liquid is returning to the column as reflux and increasing the number of equilibrium stages in the column okay guys so with more stages there are more opportunity for the component in the mixture to vaporize and condense promoting better separation okay now the next is about enhanced component purity guys higher reflux ratio often results in higher component purity in the distillation product this is because the increase in liquid in the column allows for more interaction between the vapor and liquid phase and this leads to better separation of the component 
with different boiling points. Okay guys, then the third point is about improved fraction. Guys, the fraction or the separation of the component into different trays or section of the column is more pronounced with higher reflux ratios. Guys, the component with higher boiling point tends to condense and flow back down to the column, while those with the lower boiling point continue to rise and results in more distinct separations. Okay guys, now next is the energy consideration. Guys, while a higher reflux ratio enhances the separation efficiency, it also comes with increased energy requirement. More energy is needed for the condensation of vapor and reboiling of the liquid in the column. There is often an economic trade-off between the achieving higher separation efficiency and minimizing the energy consumption. Here, engineers aim to find a reflux ratio that optimizes both the factors, means the factor of separation efficiency and the factor of energy consumption. Okay? Now the next point is on diminishing returns. Guys, it is important to note that there are diminishing returns with increasing reflux ratio. Beyond a certain point, the additional benefit in separation efficiency becomes marginal and the energy cost continue to rise. So, we need to take care of that also. Okay? And the last point is about optimization. Guys, the optimal reflux ratio depends on specific characteristic of mixture being distilled and the desired product specification. Here, engineer often uses stimulation tool or experimental and an historical data to find the right balance that maximizes the separation efficiency while considering the practical constraint of the energy consumption. Okay? So guys, these were some of the points on how the reflux ratio affects the separation efficiency. Okay guys? In summary, the reflux ratio significantly influence the separation efficiency of a distillation column. Finding the right reflux ratio involves balancing the benefits of the improved separation against the increased energy cost, which are associated with the reflux. Guys, engineer continuously strive to optimize the reflux ratio for each specific distillation process to achieve the desired product quality and energy efficiency. So guys, I hope now it is clear to you that how important is the term reflux ratio in case of distillation process and how much it is efficient to have an optimum reflux ratio which manages both the separation efficiency and the cost point of view. So it is desired for each and every distillation column to have an optimum reflux ratio. And guys, that's all for this video where we discussed about the reflux ratio in distillation column. Guys, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. And guys, for more video related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel. And guys, feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.